is Saturday, September 30th, day 174 on the Appalachian Trail. I uh, just stopped for water, been hiking for a couple hours or so. Um, but I <laughs> made the mistake of letting the one bottle uh, fill, overfill last night and forgot about it and it drained my two liter Seenock bag. So I only ended up getting a, a liter out of it and the other got spilled. Not fun, I'll probably need to set a timer or something so that I don't do that again, because it's happened before. Um, anyway, it's a beautiful day. Uh, got a decent sleep. It's kind of interesting. <laughs> there was a guy last night, night hiking, uh, but 9.30 at night, I was in my hand. Well, I wasn't in the hammock yet, but I was uh, looking at my phone, and uh, that was the only light that was on was my, my phone light, or the screen light. And this guy comes cruising down the trail with his headlamp on, singing, twinkle, twinkle, little star. And uh, then, he, then he moved into row, row, row your boat. <laughs> and he was just, just moving down the trail. You must enjoy night hiking or something, but uh, it was kind of funny. Then there was kind of a loud crash a little bit later after I'd climbed into my hammock. I didn't know what it was. I hollered a couple of times and nothing seemed to move. I don't know if it was a branch that fell or I'm not sure what it was. Anyway, made a lot of noise, put me on edge for a little bit, but then eh, no other no other sounds. Shined my light around the bottom of the tarp and out the ends and couldn't see anything, so went to sleep. Um, behind me, right back there, is the stream that I just uh, refilled my water bottles with. Nice, nice water. Uh, the goal today is to try and get out of New Hampshire. Uh, we'll see. Uh, the main New Hampshire border is it's within within reach if uh, if the uphill hikes today don't detain me too much. So far, the trail's been really nice. Uh, coming up the Mount Hayes Trail, or the trail coming up Mount Hayes, was a little bit uh, uh, steep at times, but nothing significant, so it wasn't too bad. Got to the Mahusik Trail, uh, Trailhead Junction, and then uh, started down. So now it's back uphill again. We'll see how this goes today. Another nice day. It sprinkled a little bit last night, but not very much. So anyway, it was a good decision. Another one of those good decisions to stop when I did. I uh, looked at the, the tent site that was listed that was uh, like 0.34 after the Mahusik Trail Junction. Uh, not hammockable at that spot. But uh, anyway, another good decision to uh, pull off when I did. I'm glad that happened. All right, time to move. It's Patriarch. Wishing everybody a good day. Stay green, keep growing. Time to push on. All right, two things I was going to mention. First of all, I don't think the guy that was night hiking saw me. In my stealth site, I was not that far off the trail, but my uh, dark brown tarp and uh, other conditions uh, hid me pretty well, I think. Um, I was probably... I don't know, 20, 30 feet off the trail. The other thing I wanted to point out was was the uh, orange flagging tape on on here. I was reading on Far Out that uh, there are no white blazes on the Mahusik Trail between here and I don't know where, maybe the end of New Hampshire. The trail is marked with orange blazes. Don't ask me why. I have my own opinions about that, but... Yeah, I won't share those here. All right, that's it. Moving on. So I've reached the uh, one viewpoint that was listed here. Coming up the hill, the mountain. Yeah, if you can see it, the fall colors are really starting to come on. I know it's hazy, but... Uh, they're there, they're there, uh, there's a little town down there somewhere too, right, right, I don't know if I can point there, right in there, some sort of little town, but there's a little closer picture of the colors, and looking east. Down into uh, into the valley. 
All right.